today's video i am going to explain about the breadth first search algorithm and that topic is from graph theory before going into the topic you have to learn what is graph travel cell so graph travel cell is nothing but see here if you take any graph here there are four vertices here and edges so edges are the lines connecting between the vertices so graph travel cell means the process of visiting and exploring so what is this visiting visiting means reaching to that vertex after reaching to that vertex we have to explore so what is this exploring exploring means we have to find out what are the adjacent edges what are the neighboring vertices so what are the adjacent vertices in and around the surroundings everything you have to explore so that is the process of graph travel cell graph travel cell is first we have to visit that vertex and we have to explore that vertex and that is graph travel cell so graph travel cell is very very important in order to learn bfs so first the algorithm for constructing spanning trees so for constructing spanning trees there are two algorithms first one is breadth first search bfs and depth first search dfs in today's video i am going to teach about breadth first search algorithm in breadth first search algorithm bfs generally produces spanning trees step 1 so what is the step 1 select any of the vertex as a root vertex and inserting the cube first among all the vertices we have to select one vertex as a root vertex and next is step 2 visit all the adjacent vertices see here after visiting all the adjacent vertices which are not visited and post it in the cube and delete the visited vertex see i'll show i'll explain you with an example then this algorithm will be very clear and insert newly visited vertex in queue and delete the vertex from the queue continue the process till the queue becomes empty so these are the four steps which we have to follow in order to get a spanning tree through bfs see here is an example find the spanning tree of a graph by using bfsa breadth first search algorithm so just now i taught algorithm so these are all the vertices a b c d e f and g so we have to use graph travel cell method first we have to select one vertex as a root vertex so in this i am selecting a as a root vertex so after selecting a as a root vertex so we have to visit and explore and then delete so i have visited this a after visiting what i have to do i have to see search explore it explore so i have to search the neighboring vertices so how many neighboring vertices are there d e and b so we have to post it so i visited this one and explore so this is d e and b and next what we have to do so we have to delete from this queue so this is nothing but queue queue is nothing but see how many vertices are there 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have to delete whole queue then we'll be getting a spanning tree and next one first in first out so this is first entered and first out and the next vertex here is d so now i have to visit this d so after visiting this tree i have to explore it so what is exploring so exploring is nothing but finding out the adjacent vertices so a is already visited leave it and d so e is to be visited so d is the adjacent vertex so we it is already in the queue and now delete this one so a is already posted in this queue and e is already posted so there is no need of d delete from the queue and the next next thing here is which one it is e so now i have to visit this e after visiting this e i have to explore so exploring means i have to search how many adjacent vertices are there so d is there a is there b is there c is there and f so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so a is already posted in the queue d is already posted in the queue and next b is already posted in the queue and what remains c f so now i have to post this c and f 
after exploring i have to delete this vertex from the queue first we have to visit and explore then delete and next one so which one it is so which vertex is there newly inserted vertex this is b i have to visit this vertex so after visiting this vertex what i have to do i have to explore it how many adjacent vertices are there a is there already posted in the queue e is there already posted in the queue and next one c is there c is already posted so if it is posted if it is explored and posted then delete b from the queue and next one what is the vertex here c now i have to visit the c so after visiting the c what i have to do i have to explore exploring means i have to search what are the adjacent vertices b it is already posted in the queue e it is already posted in the queue f it is already posted and what remains g so now i have to post this g in the queue and next delete from the queue and next what is this one what is the next newly inserted vertex this is f so i have to visit this f after visiting i have to explore so how many adjacent vertices are there e already posted c already posted and g it is also posted so now i have to delete q from the q f from the q and the next thing here is g i have to go and visit this g so after visiting this g i have to explore it how many adjacent vertices are there c already posted f is already posted now if it if i have posted it i have to delete from the queue so this is the queue after deleting each and every vertex from the queue the process is completed so continue the process till the queue becomes empty now it's completely empty now if you read this one select any vertex as a root vertex i have selected a as a root vertex and insert in the queue now got it uh, we have to insert in the queue step 2 visit all the adjacent vertices i have visited all the vertices which are not visited and post it in the queue and delete the visited vertex now it's clear now insert newly visited vertex in the queue and delete the vertex from the queue next continue the process till the queue becomes empty so this is what it is happened so how many vertices are there in the queue see here a the order here is a this is d e this is b c f and g now we need a spanning tree from this so a d so there is a connection here and d e so d to e and next e to b and next b to f b to c and next c to f and f to g so this is nothing but a spanning tree so how we'll say that it's a spanning tree spanning tree has three properties first of all this is the main graph g so in the main graph g we have how many vertices vertices we have seven and here also we should maintain seven vertices in the spanning tree this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 here also we have seven vertices point 1 and the next one <clears throat> if you have seven vertices here if n is equal to 7 n minus n n minus 1 edges we have to maintain that is 7 minus 1 6 edges so 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six edges and the next one there are no cycles so no cycles should be maintained or no circuits or loops so in the whole spanning tree we have no cycles and therefore we say that this is a spanning tree according to the bfsa that is breadth first search algorithm is it not very clear graph traversal concept is very very easy first we have to visit and explore visit explore so if it is asked for <clears throat> minimum marks so this is nf and if it is asked for an essay question you have to write all these see first one find the spanning tree of the bf essay so this is the same thing first step one step by step i am writing here so the first step here is select a as a starting vertex and insert in the queue first i am selecting a and inserting in it and the next one visit all the adjacent vertices so i have selected a as a root vertex and the next one step 2 is visit all the adjacent vertices of a so first we have to visit all the adjacent vertices of a which are not visited and delete the same a 
now see here <clears throat> in this i have to visit all the neighboring vertices so what are the neighboring vertices d e and b so this is d e and b and now i have to delete this a and in the second step so visit all the adjacent vertices of see which one it is d which are not visited and delete d see here now i have to visit this d so after visiting i have to find out the adjacent vertices so this is a and this is e a and e are already inserted and therefore i am deleting this d and in the next step see here and in the next step what i have to do i have to go to e so visit all the adjacent vertices of e which are not visited and delete e see here now i have to reach this e the same thing as a question we have to write step by step so e what are the adjacent vertices d it is already posted a it is already posted so this is b already posted and f and now see here we have to go with c and f so c and f i am writing and next i am deleting from the uh, queue and the next step here is fifth step here is now i have to next visit next visit all the adjacent vertices of this one b which are not visited and delete this b now i have to visit this b so after visiting this one i have to explore so a is already posted e is already posted and next one c c is also already posted now i am deleting b from the queue and the next thing here is c visit all the adjacent vertices of c which are not visited and delete c now i have to go to c here so after finding c i have to explore it b it is already posted e it is already posted f i have already posted and g i have to post it so after posting i have to delete this c and the next thing here is f remind visit all the adjacent vertices of f which are not visited and delete this f now i am going to visit this f so after reaching this f i have to explore it so what are the adjacent edges e already posted c already posted g it is already posted now there is no need of this f and i am deleting from the queue and the next what remains here g so now see here visit all the adjacent vertices of g and next to delete that g now i am going to this g and now c is already posted f is already posted and therefore g is or g is g we have to delete from the queue so these are the eight steps which you have to take care and see here so what is this queue now it became empty so after becoming empty we have to stop this process so this is the queue which is empty and the deleted vertices are a d e b c f g so this is the main graph g so this is the graph and we have to produce the spanning tree so this is nothing but the spanning tree let's see let's see here so from a to d so there is a vertex here so this is a to d and next one d e so this is d e e b b c c here b to c and c f and this one f to g so here as you know that what is spanning tree spanning tree is nothing but we have to maintain the same vertices from the main graph 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the vertex vertices are seven so we have to maintain n minus 1 edges so these are the vertices so here also n is equal to 7 that is 7 minus 1 six edges see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 six edges are there and third point is we should not maintain any cycles so this is point 1 this is point 2 and point 3 and see from all these points we can conclude that we have completed this is spanning tree so this is a spanning tree according to the bfsa so thank you so much for watching and staying till the end if you really like this video you know what to do 
please subscribe to this channel support this channel pass it on to your friends and stay connected thank you so much